Finally, tonight, for every band that fills arenas, there are thousands that can barely pay the bills. And if the artist is an older musician, it's even more difficult. For two decades now, one organization has been trying to change that. Don't you worry about me, boy. Ironing Board Sam was the essence of blues. A regular on the show Night Train, who got his nickname when he swapped an ironing board for a missing keyboard stand. The name stuck. Fame did not. By 1972, his signature board had disappeared, along with many of his dreams. All the time I was looking for uh, someone who kind of knew something about my business and someone who was willing to help me with a positive give mind. Me, give me, give me, give me. But four years ago, he was give rediscovered me. by Tim Duffy, co-founder of the Music Maker Relief Foundation, yeah, yeah. which aims to keep music give tradition me. alive by keeping musicians give like me. Sam on stage. Iron Board Sam Everybody. thought it was gone, dead. You know, we just moved him, got him an apartment. I mean, the whole package. For starters, they gave Sam the tool that's instrumental to his career. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> if you can't be. They also gave him a recording contract and helped with basic needs like car repairs and medical care. Sam is one of more than 300 musicians the organization has helped over the past 20 years. My name is Captain Luke. I'm a blues man. Captain Luke Mayer was living on less than $10,000 a year, but he doubled his income with CD sales and performances through Music Maker's support. If I can get him $100 a month for a prescription medicine, I can keep his heat on on the winter time. And that's real. I don't pay no phone bill. I mean, he helped me a whole lot. Duffy insists it's no handout. The main thing is they want to have to want to help themselves. With their careers back on track, they can do just that. Today, Captain Luke owns his own car, and ironing board Sam is back on stage at 75 years old, getting a second chance at his first love.